Let's see how Jenk spins this shit. Because Krauthammer said, this is in all probability an example of Islam at work. That's a quote, okay? An example of radical Islam at work. An example of Islam at work. That's a quote, okay? An example of radical Islam at work. <laughs> Look at these fucking peons shaking their head, nodding yes to that. Look at Anna. She's like, yes, yes, Daddy Jank, yes. I heard you, right, right, right. Is it my turn to talk yet? Is it my turn to mimic everything you just said? Look at these fucking people. He has the gall to quote the guy on the show where 10 seconds before, moments earlier, you hear the guy clearly say radical Islam. Listen to this again. This is in all probability an example of radical Islam at work. But the general issue is radical Islam. And unless I mean, we have a president who immediately says this is a lone gunman, how does he know? So I think it's sort of the, the whole, the six and a half years of Obama always wanting to err on the side of downplaying the threat. The threat is radical Islam, which he won't say. It's such horseshit. It's such an example of Islam at work. Now, if I said Dylan Roof is an example of white people at work, what would happen? Everybody go crazy, right? I mean, like, but Cenk, that's so unfair. How can you take one guy or even all the guys you just listed who did all the shootings fairly recently, all based in hate groups, right? And connect them to all white people. That's to 200 and what, 50 million Americans who are white? That's a, outrageous. So what they do is they take this guy who did the shooting here and a couple of others, uh, the Fort Hood shooting, etc. Same, actually less number of people. We've done that story before. There are less Muslim radical shooters in America than right-wing hate radicals that do. Stay, take, take those people and then they go, well, it's Islam at work. They connected those guys to 1.6 billion people. So me connecting it to 250 million people is insane and outrageous. Them connecting a couple of guys to 1.6 billion people, they find perfectly normal. And this is not a minor thing that he has left that word out. Because now it's a totally different conversation. Now he's going to launch into a fictional argument against a statement that was never made. An idea that was never presented. This is their favorite thing to go to. It's all Muslims. Yes, we're talking about all Muslims. This is unbelievable. Look, look at this. Just look at this. They should shut this company down. This shit should be imploded like it's an old casino in Vegas. They need to apologize for this. If they had, and they have the nerve to talk about like journalistic ethics. Journalistic ethics. You guys just did an entire segment based on a lie, based on a falsehood that is so painfully stupid of you to have made.